Κυριάκο, συντονίσου. Hi, είμαστε ζωντανά στο Camberwell. Στο Camberwell. Στο Camberwell. Παιδιά, κοιτάξτε στο εστιατόριο. Το στήσανε πρόεδρο για να είμαστε στον Έλληρο. Ναι, είμαστε... Άντζι για να το δάξουμε. Do you know it's from my name, you know the same my name? I've always wanted to do a live with this chick. She's so cool, makes me look cooler. Well, you're pretty cool because you're old. What does Eliros mean? Eliros is a is a little town where the I guess in in ancient cities of of Crete. So you. You'll find that there was a comedian, a philosopher, a great chef, um, powerhouse, played everything, and it was this euphoria of civilization. Mm -hmm. And we took the inspiration from that region of Crete because that's what we wanted. And three years down the line, you know, we've got an amazing team in the kitchen in the front, and they, they smash it every, every week. And uh, your partner here is Archondisa. Archondisa, and Which she is, really is uh, what a name. It fills up the whole room. <laughs> How do we translate our Contessa in English? Uh, Contessa, lady, blah blah. Lady of the house. She wears or... shoes though, so it's good. And my other business partner is, is English. He's just English. He's just, just English, like bangers and match. But he, he just he loves <laughs> culture, he loves our culture. And um, when we took him, well, I took him to, to Greece uh, four years ago to Crete, he found in love, he said, yes, let's all do it. I want to know a bit more about you. Yeah. Um, you have another restaurant, the Poca. Yes. And, you've and also you said it right as well. I've done my research. Just then, I'm a little bit yeah, but I'm a little bit similar. It's a bit hot. Um, so tell me, and you've worked in Greece as well. Yes. Uh, tell, how did the whole thing start? You were born and raised here. From I was born and raised here, but always travelled to Greece because my parents had got. They always thought that they were going to end up going back. Mm -hmm. And we, um, I guess, I, I made the move when I was when I was twenty, and I said, you know what. I'm just gonna tried out. Um, I finished my shipping degree, uh, but at the same time, shipping, shipping, shipping does not help me with hospitality. <laughs> with boats, not with Provata. No, with, with boats, <laughs> uh, cargo ships, uh, wow. GRT. Um, so, but at the same time I was doing hospitality, so I, I slowly, slowly moved, started moving up to really some restaurants. Became a sommelier. Um, the last restaurant that I worked for was this incredible art restaurant. It used to be the powerhouse of Athens, all the wealthy ship owners. <laughs> That's where the shipping degree came in. We used, used, to, used to dine there and you know, it was just the, the, the best time. What was the name of that restaurant? Mental Mental. Mental Mental. Halfway. You, you, you would like it. So uh, he's, he's not doing as well now. Is that because you left? <laughs> well, we're lucky to have you back, Angie, uh, and we are very lucky to have you working with us for the Long Zone Street Greek Festival. Yeah, it'll be fun. What exactly are you doing for the festival this year? Uh, for the festival, we're doing our, our house galtunia, so they're the, those pastries that you know, mums make um, mm -hmm. with the uh, mesilla cheese. They shallow fry it and then they just pop it, and it's just an amazing flavour sensation. And where will you be serving that? We're going to be around the centre stage, okay. so uh, just across from that, um, we're in the Mythos Bar, right next to that, and it's going to be sensational. So is it like a pop-up, or are you going to be in the bar? We're going to be in the bar, and then there's going to be a little bit that's a, a takeaway option as well for those who are just for like walking blind. So we'll be art colleagues, huh? Do you want to be eaten or a spit? Uh, uh, <laughs> I know it's a bit early in the morning, but how do you feel about galactic booty calls? I like galactic booty calls, especially when I am. Um, and uh, who doesn't like milk in the morning? <laughs> I can't speechless. Compete. I'm speechless. Speechless. <laughs> well, um, we actually are referring to Galacta Budeko, which is a Greek favourite. And it is a bit of a tongue twister, so a lot of our Anglo friends call it Galactic Budeko. Right, and it, it just makes sense, and then they can say it, and then they can eat it, and they think that, you know what, this is a wow thing. So, you know, obviously it's early in the morning, and I thought, what better thing to do, like, in the morning to <laughs> well, Let's just make a Galactic right? So, let's do it. And you know that I'm not a chef. I know you're not a chef. Do we need aprons so we can look more professional or just like this? I think we should just a become... A bit of cream in the morning, you know? Yes, what can go wrong? We're, we're, we're in front of house. That's the way we roll. Uh, so basically what I've done 
already. I all night long you've been making the filo, right? Yeah, all night long last night. So look how look paper thin. Isn't that great? Look look how I've done that. Si pedela na filo te kita mo diskani. Hashtag it was the Kumara. Hashtag is getting a promotion to ask the Kumara today. There you go. Don't cry. So what I've done is semolina or semigdali. I like things from Greece. I like to keep everything. Semigdali for draw. Thick semolina. There's no sexual reference to this. It's too early in the morning. It's just the semolina. Sugar, obviously. Um, milk and one egg. One egg. Right. Then the zest of the orange. So basically, what happens is that everything is in equal parts, and maybe you're going to need a little bit of milk to top up, but you should be getting this type of thick consistency right here. Can I taste this? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Can I put the finger? Yeah, you can. Oh my god. Better than a galactic burrito. Right. <laughs> so once the cooking process has been done, and you keep on stirring it like like this on, on the on the heat. So for dad cooks like me. Yes. It's really fucking easy. You. <laughs> the F word. <laughs> it's all right. We're live. We're um, live. Uh, so simigdali. Simigdali. Yes. Egg. Yes. Milk and sugar. Yes. When you say equal parts, I so, think a cup. So you grab one of your vessels. One that you're using because everybody's got a vessel <laughs> that they're using. This is the cup. This is getting better by the minute. See? Um, so one of these or two of these depends on the. I mean, that's two. You might want to do a bigger portion. So one of these to one of these and one of these. And an egg, and that's it. Right, egg, I get the it. Egg is, the egg yolk is at the end. At the end. When you're finished cooking. Right. But keep stirring. Look, if you get this wrong, don't worry. It's okay. You can come to Eliros, or you can just you're an Uber Eats, right? Yeah, we're on Uber Eats. Yeah. Or you can Uber Eats. Yeah, Uber Eats. <laughs> and then um, just to give it a little bit of freshness, I thought a little zest of of orange. So if I if I did that, I would, I would have already broken a nail. <laughs> That's why you need help from your friends. <laughs> I've stopped biting mine. <laughs> All right, so. That's ah, really mm. 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 Come on, speak, mm. easy. All right. So we're not going to use all, all that. This right. is how it's supposed to look. Yeah. Si betera, to perno me. To blend it. It's it's kind of thick and creamy, and you can you can almost. Taste the semolina, but at the same time you can taste the combination. It's just really strange. It's like a double layer of flavor. So you tried it before, and then with, 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 with the orange, it, it just tastes uh, a little bit more aromatic. So basically, we're not going to use all of that. So we're just going to halve that on the marble, the, um, the Greek marble. Mm -hmm. Of course. I, lo I love the tables. The bread oven. This is it is this is marble though. No. Yeah, it's marble. It's, it's a thing in marble. It's actually from Greece. So the, you make those tables made just for Eros. Yeah. Wow. And we bought the chairs from Greece. There's there's a lot of love in this restaurant, guys. Mm -hmm. Try it out. Right. So basically, I've got two brushes here. One for you, one for me. You take the big one. So basically, we're gonna paint one area, then flip it around, and paint the other. Okay. You got that? See, I'm impatient as a person, so you have to, you have to, talk you have to, to forgive me. If you talk to my family, when we decided to paint the house, I took the supervisory role because I was so impatient that it was all just like... Alright, <coughs> <coughs> The, the filo is really, really thin. It almost feels like a really thin piece of paper. Like, yeah. All right, so paint it again. Look at you. Where did you go? And oh, it's a golden galactic booty call. That's another <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> Ask like this, you better, right? <laughs> Right, so once that's happening, that's done. 
But we've already flipped it, so what do we do now? Now you, we're going to use it. You, you, we flip now. Oh. It's alright if it holds together, you know what? Do I flip it again? That's like it. this? That's it, yeah, go ahead. And then you're done. Puse mana na me this. Aristurgima. That's it. That's it. Okay. So you got three there. I just cut it off. <laughs> That's so I've got three here, and then we're going to do our little bit of ah, I'm not putting any more of the butter in here. This is butter, right? That's butter. So we've melted goat's butter. See over there? That's what we use. Because we're... Pretty goat's good. butter. And um, since we're talking about goats, these are... Cree cree. Katsikakia cree cree, it's the name. Yeah, which are... It's only in Crete. Και είναι είδο προ εξαφάνιση. Καλά το είπα. Επειδή τα τρώμε. We won't eat this. We won't eat this. It's an Angie's Lucky Charm. And it's a symbol of Crete. Beautiful. A little Crete Crete. So you got. So this is my mother's recipe. Hopefully it's going to work. So you put about that much. No room for mistake. <laughs> and if she watches this and I do it by new Hi mum! Yes, my mum. And so basically we um, fold over like that. Fold over like this. Ah, I got Yeah? Like that. Here's something we prepared earlier. Yes, <laughs> this is what we're doing. What are you doing today? Alright, let's do these ones. Now, when you're doing the second one, you kind of feel like a pro because you do. You feel <laughs> it. He's like, You've you? already done it once. It's like, ah, I've got I'm this. <laughs> But that's what happens when you're, you know, together with friends. It just makes the work easier. Certainly does. And it's a lot more fun. Let's make it long. Pure crispy, didn't you? Pure crispy. Pure crispy. Yeah, So just to remind our friends on Facebook that we are live on the Greek Center's Facebook page and we're getting ready for Lonsdale Street Greek Festival this weekend where Angie Yanakodakis and her team from Elidos and Epoca restaurants are going to... What are we going to do? We'll just be loving people. Give yeah, they're going to be loving people and feeding them kaltsunya. I might even sell some hugs. You're going to sell hugs? Hugs are supposed to be free, Blair. No, I know, but you know She's what? such a business woman. For charity, for charity. <laughs> I've done a lot of charity work, I guess. When it comes to free hugs, <laughs> yes, I'll go there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, last one. I'll put some more butter just in, just for, you know, the hell of it. Just for emphasis. Alright, so I'm going to do this. This, that's yours. Alright. This one is going to be a little bit thicker. Yeah, that's the work. Shop in a supermarket when you're hungry, never make a like a burrito thing is when you haven't had breakfast. So, um, this is going to get a coat of uh, butter again. So, goat's butter has a little bit more acidity, so you'll see that there's a little bit more of those um, balanced qualities. So, you've got all this, the saltiness and, and uh, acidity of the butter. At the same time, inside you've got this beautiful parcel of semolina custard. So, so it's beautiful on the inside and good looking on the outside. Cold. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> so, time, don't you? so how, how do you eat those? Do you eat them warm or cold? And what's your personal preference? I like them when they come out of the oven and you put the syrup on and then you eat them. 
and I like them after two days because they become okay. wrinkly and they become uh, a little more fat. And it's <laughs> That's really not a reference to our age, is it? <laughs> I think so. I'm going to put this in the oven. So we're live on the Greek Centre's Facebook page. We are at Elios Restaurant in Camberwell. Camberwell is a suburb of, suburb of Melbourne. We're getting ready for the Longsons with Greek Festival this weekend. And there's a big knife there. I should be afraid. You should be afraid. So while we're, um, all that's cooking, it might be a while, but we've prepared some syrup from, from this morning. Mm -hmm. The syrup does take a little bit of time. So again, sugar with water, probably half-half. Um, I've put some cinnamon sticks, cloves, and uh, the the rind of the the lemon, mm -hmm. and just been cooking it with uh, Crete and honey as well. Crete and honey, and you'll you'll see that there's a little bit of a difference. So is that thyme? Um, the Crete and honey is that, does that have that thyme thyme flavour or? I, I think honey does that more, uh, but because there's about three hundred different herbs on on, on the uh, island on, yeah. on that mountain. Um, then you'll see that the, there's more intensity of flavors. Okay. Just like Cretan people. Just like Cretan people. <coughs> I'm already don't, losing my voice. Just don't cross <laughs> Just don't cross the Cretan. Right. There's a big knife on the table. Are we done with this? We're done with that for now. And then once once they come out of the oven, I'm going to put syrup on top of them, a little bit of uh, cinnamon, and we're going to eat them with right. our coffee. Have we got a ready one? No. We don't have a ready one. There's nothing we prefer earlier because this is really early in the morning for both of us. It's really early in the morning. It's like six o'clock in the morning for me. It's six o'clock in Tonga, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Right, so let's say goodbye to our friend. Uh, unless you have something else to share about your beautiful restaurants. Uh, I would say that, um, listen, we, we're probably the only ones that do uh, Cretan's cu cuisine as far as that modern uh, modern representation. Our local cuisine is all about sustainability and also um, using our local ingredients. So it's very important that you know we all support this as well. And we all support all the Greek restaurants in Melbourne. I think that's really important. Because um, the, the, the more we support our own culture, the better we'll become and the uh, the more love we'll be able to give. So back so, us up. Heliros is at 871 Berg Road, Road, Road Camberwell. And where is that for? They're about 17 minutes away by traffic, it usually takes me 14 minutes. One's in because Carlton. it's pretty just flies. I yeah. do fly. Um, one's in Carlton, one's in Campbell. Obviously, sometimes you need a passport to get to Campbell, that's okay because we'll stamp it for you. Um, as far as Car the Carlton restaurant is concerned, it's just on Rathdown Street, so 49, just opposite the uh, World Exhibition Building. But we're close and we love food. We'll see you on the weekend. What, Super do you want something? Oh, this is mine. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I'll take